हेलो एंड वेलकम टू क्लास इलेवन फिजिक्स वी आर स्टडिंग चैप्टर नंबर थ्री मोशन इन ए स्ट्रेट लाइन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट फ्यू न्यूमेरिकल्स नाउ लेट अस सॉल्व वन बाय वन द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ ए पार्टिकल वेराइज विथ टाइम अकॉर्डिंग टू द इक्वेशन दैट इज गिवन वाई इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू बाई थ्री टी स्क्वेर प्लस सिक्सटीन टी प्लस टू Now the question is how long the particle will take to come to rest. How long the particle will take to come to rest, right? So rest is the key word over here, and how long means we have to find the time. Okay. So if the particle is, if particle will come to rest. what is the hint that its velocity will become zero clear so let us move on to velocity by the help of this equation so the equation i am repeating y equals to minus 2 by 3 t square plus 16 t plus 2 from this we will move on to the velocity now taking differentiation of position with respect to time we will get velocity right so we are doing dy by dt and that will give you velocity instantaneous velocity so for that we have to do d by dt of whole equation now carefully if you see there are three different terms in the differentiation so what do we do we will split them accordingly and then we'll apply the formula all the minus sign all the coefficient you have to take care and thus i have included this extra step of each different terms now applying the rule of differentiation this minus 2 by 3 will come over here then we have 2 in the power exponent so that will become the coefficient okay and then we have t raised to 2 minus 1 Now here we have d by dt of sixteen t raised to one. So sixteen will remain as it is. T we have. Now what happens to the exponent? Here one will become the coefficient, and here power will be one minus one. Now we all know that d by dt of any number is zero. So what will be our next step? V equals to minus two into two. That is minus four by three. T raised to two minus one. That is nothing but t plus sixteen ones are sixteen, and t raised to one minus one is zero. So anything raised to zero is one. So here the formula and the differentiation has finished. Now let us come back to our condition. Velocity will be zero when it will be rest. So what we'll do? We'll put v equals to zero. So it becomes zero equals to four by three t plus sixteen. Taking four by three on the other side it will give you 4 by 3t equals to 16 and that by doing cross multiplication 3 comes over here 4 comes to the down side so it is 16 into 3 upon 4 so we can cancel 4 ones are 4 4 4 are 16 so our final answer will be 4 3 is 12 that means time equals to 12 seconds is our answer Moving on to the next question. Now the second question is position of an object varies with time t. That means with respect to time t is given by the equation x equals to at square minus bt cube. Now at what time will the acceleration be zero? Right here a and b will be constant, so we will keep them as it is, and answer will be in form of a and b only as we don't have any value. Now think about. how we shall go for the answer given is position so we have the initial data of position then they have asked acceleration but directly from position we cannot go to acceleration so what we'll do from position we will go for velocity and if you differentiate velocity then only you will get the acceleration clear so here you may understand that we have to do d by dt of position to get velocity then again we'll have to do d upon dt for acceleration right 
सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद इक्वेशन दैट इज एक्स इक्वल टू ए टी स्क्वेर माइनस बी टी क्यूब सो डी एक्स अपॉन डी टी एज देर आर टू टर्म्स वॉट आई एम डूइंग आई एम स्प्लिटिंग इट आउट सो इट विल बी डी बाय डी टी ऑफ ए टी स्क्वेर माइनस डी बाय डी टी ऑफ बी टी क्यूब नाउ हियर वी हैव t रेस टू टू सो टू विल बिकम द को एफिशियंट सो हियर टू ए टी रेस टू टू माइनस वन माइनस डी अपॉन डी टी ऑफ बी टी क्यूब सो क्यूब थ्री विल कम आउटसाइड एंड देन वील हैव बी टी थ्री माइनस वन सो वॉट इज द फाइनल आंसर टू ए टी रेस टू वन सो आई एम नॉट राइटिंग एनी थिंग माइनस थ्री बी टी स्क्वेर दिस इज अवर वेलोसिटी now if we do the differentiation process again we'll get acceleration and then we'll put acceleration equals to 0 so here directly i'll be doing dv by dt that will give me acceleration so d by dt of 2 at minus d by dt of 3 bt square so final answer here t raised to 1 so only i'll be getting 2a minus d by dt of 3 bt square so 2 will come out outside so here 3 to the 6 bt raised to 1 so i'll not write anything here it is acceleration now if this acceleration becomes 0 so we have 0 equals to 2a minus 6 bt 6 bt goes on the other side so we have 6 bt equals to 2a finally what we are finding is t so 2a upon 6b if you cancel 2 and 6 so here we have 1 and 3 so final answer will be 1 into a that is a and 3b so at t equals to a upon 3b seconds the acceleration of this object will become zero clear moving on to the next question third question is displacement of a particle is given by the equation y equals to a plus bt plus ct square minus dt raised to 4 hence we are asked about initial velocity and initial acceleration now the word of hint over here is initial so that means time we have to take zero right so velocity and acceleration that we will be differentiating and finding but what we will keep at the time that will be zero okay now let us see how we will solve so we have equation y equals to a plus bt plus ct square minus dt raised to 4 so here we are doing d upon dt of y so directly i am splitting so d upon dt of a plus d by dt of bt plus d by dt of ct square and then minus d by dt of dt raised to 4 clear where a b c and d are constants right now you see what will be our next step here there is no term containing t so this term will become zero over here we have t raised to 1 so that will become ultimately t raised to 0 and then it will be converted into 1 so here directly it will be only b next c t raised to 2 so it will be 2 c t raised to 1 and minus d t raised to 4 so that will be 4 dt cube so one we are not writing generally so i'm writing like this now very careful we have found v initial velocity but initial that means at time t equals to 0 then what it will be it will be 0 plus b plus 2c into 0 minus 4d 0 cube that means these these and this terms are all zero so we have final answer as b clear now going for the initial acceleration 
but we only have formula of v right so v equals to b plus 2 ct minus 4 dt cube how to go for acceleration that is d by dt of v so d by dt of only b plus d by dt of 2 ct minus d by dt of 4 dt cube so as we know there is no term containing t so here it will be zero over here t raised to 1 we have so whatever is with t that will come to c because one comes over here 2c into 1 is same and t raised to 1 minus 1 is zero so t raised to 0 becomes 1 so ultimately we have 2c minus 3 will come over here becomes 12 dt then 3 minus 1 is 2 so clear so here we have a now initially at time t equals to 0 what will be a a will be we are not writing this so this will be neglected 2c over here minus 12d into 0 square now what will be the final answer it will be only 2c because 0 square is 0 and anything multiplied with 0 is 0 so initial velocity is b initial acceleration is 2c now fourth question is position of particle is given by the equation x equals to 2 minus 5t plus t cube we have to find out the acceleration of the particle at time t equals to 2 second so everything is given x equation i will be writing again x is nothing but position to so from position to acceleration we have to go like first find position then go for velocity and then finally you can go for acceleration in that please put t equals to 2 right then and only then you will get the answer now going for the velocity so for v you have to do d by dt of x so d by dt of each separate term we are doing that is 2 minus d by dt of 5t and plus d by dt of t cube now here we know that d by dt of any number is 0 minus 5 will be the coefficient over here t raised to 1 so what will be t raised to 1 minus 1 that will be t raised to 0 so t raised to 0 is 1 so only 5 will remain over here you see t cube will become 3t square so this is the answer of velocity now we are not asked about velocity because we are asked about acceleration so let us go for acceleration and that is dv by dt so let us see what is d by dt of minus 5 plus 3t square okay so d by dt of minus 5 and plus d by dt of 3t square again Minus five is a number. Their differentiation is zero. Plus three t square two will come outside, so it will be three into two six t raised to one, and that is nothing but our acceleration. And now specifically we have been asked that we have to find out acceleration at two seconds. So we'll keep t equals to two. So a equals to six into two. A equals to twelve meter. per second square clear now the fifth question is the position of an object which is moving in a straight line or one dimension is given by the formula x equals to 4.2 t square plus 2.6 meter here decimal numbers are there so take care while doing simplification calculate its average velocity during the time interval of 0 to 3 second and then second question is find out the instantaneous velocity at t equals to 3 second so second part or second question will be more easy for us as only differentiation we will have to do and then we will have to keep the value t equals to 3 but what about the first one average velocity from t 0 to 3 second now what is average velocity average velocity is total 
डिस्प्लेसमेंट अपॉन टोटल टाइम टोटल टाइम नाउ वी नो दैट व्हाट इज अ टाइम इंटरवल दैट इज जीरो टू थ्री सो टाइम इंटरवल इज थ्री बट व्हाट अबाउट डिस्प्लेसमेंट वी डोंट नो अबाउट द इनिशियल पोजिशन एज वेल एज वी डोंट नो अबाउट फाइनल पोजिशन सो वॉट वी विल डू पोजिशन इज ऑलरेडी गिवेन That is x equals to four point two t square plus two point six. So if we put if t equals to zero second, so we will get the initial position, right? So I'm writing x zero. So that will be four point two into zero square plus two point six, and that is nothing but two point six meter. so here we get our initial position now let us put t equals to 3 and then we'll get the final position so here we write x3 so that is 4.2 into 3 square plus 2.6 now 4.2 into 3 square that you can use calculator or you can do rough work 3 square is 9 9 into 4.2 plus 2.6 that will give you 40. Four meters. So finally, we now have the final position. So now let us go for the formula. Average velocity equals to final position. That is x three minus x zero upon t three minus t zero, right? Third second and zero second. So that is forty point four minus two point six upon Three minus zero. So if you do the calculation, you will get twelve point six, and it is velocity, so meter per second. This is average velocity. Clear? Now let us see instantaneous velocity. For instantaneous velocity, what we have to do? We just have to differentiate this equation with respect to time. So v equals to d by dt of x. And that is d by dt of 4.2 t square plus 2.6. Now let us split the term d by dt of 4.2 t square and d by dt of 2.6. Now here we have 4.2 as coefficient. Two will come outside, and then we have t raised to two minus one as one. And here it is only a number, so we will write zero. So ultimately, what is our instantaneous velocity? It is 4.2 into 2, that is 8.4 into t. Now at t equals to 3 second, v equals to 8.4 into 3, 25.2 meter per second. So exactly at 3 second, the velocity of the particle or object was 25. Two meter per second.